Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. This is George, and today I want to talk about The Last Apprentice by Joseph Delaney. I am very excited to introduce you to this series. This series is very dear to me for a number of reasons. First of all, it hits all the right notes that I enjoy. I have always been a fan of scary stories and uh, dark images or creepy scenes, and the context of a fantasy novel works so well in this case. And the second reason I have a soft spot for this series is a personal one. Before my grandfather died, he read this series while in the hospital. He was bored and had nothing to entertain himself with, so he would read these books over and over again just to fill up his time. I always find that funny when I remember him, and um, I'm happy that reading this series makes me think of him. Also, I think up until that point, there were only four or five volumes out. So he didn't really manage to read the end. Um, he didn't manage to get to the ending. So I am definitely devoted right now to try and finish all 13 volumes of the story and see how it goes. In terms of story, you might say that it is quite linear and the tropes are very familiar. The main character, Thomas Ward, is the seventh son of a seventh son. That makes him capable of feeling things and seeing things that ordinary people can't. And that's a position that officially makes him uh, the best match for becoming the local community spook's apprentice. The spook can only be the seventh son of a seventh son, and his main job in the community is to fight against different paranormal entities, well, which they call simply the dark. They record their knowledge in books and diaries, and then eventually they share this knowledge with their apprentices, who in turn do the same thing. I heard somebody comparing this series to The Witcher, and it does have some similarities. I could even say that the spook stories are a children's version of The Witcher to a certain extent. Both these characters get hired to fight against dark forces, and they both have similar knowledge and, on some instances, even similar powers. Look, just imagine all your favorite scary stories in one book connected by one character. I mean, for me, that's just beautiful. In terms of writing, this story is from a first-person perspective, the narration being entirely from Tom's point of view. It's, it's a simple and fast read. It's totally worth your time. I particularly like the pacing and the setting. The prose is simple but incredibly descriptive, and it draws you in completely into the world of the story. And there are parts that read exactly like a good old-fashioned ghost story. Delaney doesn't overdo himself, rather he paces everything so that you are drawn into the suspicion and intensity of the story. And you, you just can't put this book down. I recommend this to anybody who loves ghost stories. I recommend this to anyone who loves creepy dark images, creepy stories, creepy atmosphere. And I recommend this to anyone who is a Harry Potter fan, who's a fantasy fan, and who definitely wants to go on a great, great wild ride. I'm a big fan, and I'm looking forward to reading the next one. That being said, thank you for listening. I hope you share and subscribe. Stay safe, be kind, keep on reading, and see you next time.